special class because we have an invited speaker from China. He just arrived yesterday and it's his first time in Japan and his very first time in Tokyo. And uh, he's from uh, the ancient Chinese capital Nanjing, uh, now it's called the Sasan uh, capital. And it's really a very historic place. So if you just want to go sightseeing in China, that's one place where you definitely should go. And uh, uh, Dr. Yu Zhao Yang, he's an associate professor in the Faculty of Geography at Nanjing Normal University in Nanjing, China. So in geography, they also educate uh, people for the tourism business. So they have the tourist guide experts are educated there. And uh, if you go there, then a uh, Nanjing student of tourism, he said, oh, that's great, uh, I have some practice. <laughs> so they give you an expert tour around the city, and there's nothing you cannot ask. They know everything, because they have studied it, and they're so happy to have some practice uh, to guide you around. So definitely, if you make your next tour to Nanjing, contact, you see the email address, <laughs> contact uh, Dr. Yu Zhao Yan, and he'll be happy uh, to have his students guide you around uh, the city, giving you an expert uh, tour of whatever you like to see and uh, you like to know. Now, I know uh, Dr. Yu Zhao since a couple of years, through, first through his publications, and later I visited his university uh, twice, and uh, I was given the opportunity to uh, talk about geometric algebra there, and I was quite astonished how advanced they are in using uh, geometric algebra in a very applied way for geography. And I think he will say himself um, why they had this special idea, which is uh, worldwide still a very unique idea, to uh, use geometric algebra as a kind of framework, a mathematical framework, for doing whatever they need to do uh, what, whatever data analysis or data interpretation is needed in uh, geographic information science. And maybe he'll explain it, but geographic information science is a kind of fusion of information science with geography. And nowadays in the digital age, uh, all the data about the Earth, be they local or global, are encoded in a digital way on computers, but if you just see the data, you don't know anything. So you need geography in order to interpret and understand the data and extract uh, some useful information in whatever context you look uh, for information. Okay, so let me not talk anymore, but I will give uh, the mic to uh, Dr. Yu Zhao Yang, and I very much look forward uh, to this uh, presentation. And we'll have some time at the end so that you can also ask questions. Thank you very much. Um, we have made more copies of the abstracts, so you can pick them up at the table at the entrance. And please make sure to sign in in the list of names at the entrance as well. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for the invitation of Professor Hazel, and thank you very much for your uh, interest uh, about this topic. And uh, my topic is about the applications of geometry algebra in uh, geographical information science. And um, I will uh, talk about these eight things. Uh, in the beginning, as suggested by the Professor Hazel, uh, I will give a brief introduction of Nanjing Nanjing Normal University and uh, some uh, learning experience of myself. 
Nanjing is uh, the capital of Jiangsu province of China, which is a city of ancient greatness. Nanjing is known as the capital city uh, of six da dynasties of Chinese, uh, Chinese history. And there's a saying that no trip to uh, no trip to China is complete when you uh, without the experience uh, to the history and the culture of Nanjing. And uh, there are very some some ancient buildings. They are the museum. Uh, they are the uh, Muslim. And this is the Shaolin uh, <coughs> Muslim of the Ming Dynasty. And uh, this is the Jiming Temple. And uh, the, this one is the very famous Qinghai River. Uh, in the old days, uh, lots of poets and uh, artists found their uh, ideas in this in this place in the night with on the boat uh, of the river. And uh, Nanjing is also a modern <coughs> city. There are large buildings, uh, in, uh, such like the Zijing uh, Zifeng Tower, and this is the uh, landmark of Nanjing, like the Tokyo Tower of uh, Tokyo. And uh, this is the Jinling Hotel, uh, the, the old landmark of Nanjing. It's a very famous uh, hotel that lots of uh, political and uh, uh, business leaders live in. And this is a um, district named 1912 district. It is a district with all kinds of different pubs, and there are more than uh, 30, 30 different types of uh, pubs and bars in this district. And uh, we have the, uh, one of the largest uh, li library of the city. Can you hold the mic close? Yeah. Okay. And this is a landmark of, uh, uh, of Nanjing, the Greenland Center, Sifeng Tower. It is a uh, the sixth, the sixth tallest in China and the 14th tallest in, in the world. And in 2014, we uh, landed here the, the uh, Youth Olympic Games. So they built a very large and fresh center of the uh, Youth Olympic Center. And uh, they, they built a very famous building, the Eye of Nanjing where you can, it's a very large bridge, and you can see the, all the landscape of, of Nanjing. Nanjing is a, a city that uh, in, in the old days and in current days, the center of education. And uh, this is the famous uh, uh, entrance exam, uh, the Jiangnan examination hall. It was used the uh, examination for the provincial and uh, for the uh, permission level examination of Jiang Jiangsu province and Anhui province. Uh, students from this province should go take their examination in this, this place. And there are already more than uh, 75 different colleges and institutions in Nanjing. Mm. Mm. This is the history of our university, the Nanjing Normal University. Nanjing Normal University can be traced back to 1902 uh, with the establishment of Sanjiang Normal College. It is one of the uh, original of uh, China, China's high normal schools. And uh, we change very, very much because there are uh, different kinds of uh, subject revolutions and uh, we we changed the place, and in 1984, Nanjing Normal University was uh, has uh, its uh, long name. And this is the Sui Yuan campus. We have three campus of the university, and this campus is a uh, old house uh, of a great uh, points in the Qing Dynasty. It is named the most beautiful campus of the. Uh, Orient, and this is the Xining 
district, uh, Xianning campus. It is the newest and the largest campus of Nanjing Normal University. It has one of the uh, biggest uh, uh, library in the east of China. And uh, we have a, a large stadium which always uh, held the sports uh, competition. And this is our department. The, the Department of Geography, uh, mostly the uh, Department of Geography in other universities are focused on science, but our department uh, hopes to closely tie science, technology, and service, uh, tightly combine these three, three things. Our goal to science research is to uh, is to build a theoretical uh, research highland to reveal distribution pattern, evolution processes, and the interactions between geographical environment. And we, uh, the technological uh, goal is to build import, uh, important technologies that can support such kind of uh, science. And we also hope this, this kind of uh, science and the technologies can be served for uh, policy makers and the common publics. And this is uh, our lab <coughs> laboratory. It is a lab key laboratory of the Ministry of Education. It is uh, uh, what what means the virtual environment, uh, geographical environment. I think it can be defined from the following. It should be reconstruct oh, the... Take the uh, mic closer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, the visual, visual geographical environment, uh, we defined it as we should reconstruct what's the geographical environment in the past times. We should model it the, in the current environment, and we can still simulate and uh, predict what the environment will change in, in the future. And focused on this topic, we have already published eight papers in science and the top, top, top general, the science and the nature, and three in PINUS. And the, the, the very early paper we passed in 2001, which is before the building of the uh, laboratory, has already been cited in, in more than 2,200 times in, in, in science. And we, we are ranked the first grade among 50 uh, MOE laboratory in a large group, including laboratory of uh, mass, laboratory of physics, and geoscience. And to rapidly change our um, science, scientific research and technology development, in, into uh, into in, empirical and common use, we have uh, founded the Jiangsu Center of uh, Collaborative Innovation uh, in Geographical Information Resource Development and Application. This center was combines 11 institutions all around China and uh, uh, organized uh, two, 240, 47 uh, members. We have uh, in this center. We have 90 uh, professors and 80, 82 associated professors. We we closely uh, contact with uh, in the the companies to quickly uh, implement our idea into real software and data products. And this is the GA group. Uh, we, uh, our group law have two professors and five associated professors. And we have directed more than uh, 20 different kinds of projects. The total bandage of uh, the projects are uh, exceeded uh, four million US dollars. Sorry, for uh, we, we do not uh, usually take pictures. So I combined uh, this, this, this uh, uh, pictures. And in the August of last year, we organized a special workshop. It is a, a, it is, it is a 
be selected as a special session of the International Geographical U uh, Congress. This is about me. I was born in uh, 1984, September, and uh, uh, my research interests are high dimensional geophysical singular processing and GIS. Uh, when I was uh, an undergraduate student, I do some research in sea level changes and uh, climate changes. At this time, most of my research are related to how to extract different kinds of climate signals from uh, time series, especially the sea level time series. And then, uh, in, in 2006, I started my graduate in the field of tourism. Uh, it is a very special change. And uh, after, uh, in 2008, I was selected as the director uh, PhD student in the field of uh, geographical information science. Uh, this is uh, another big change for me, and it is a challenge for me, because at that time, I do not know any programming, very little experience of programming, but I need to change myself uh, from a user of GIS into a developer of GIS. So it makes me to think, think more and more deeper to on how we need uh, the GIS to serve for the geographical research. Um, and also, we need to know how we can improve the development of, uh, of GIS. And uh, uh, after I graduated, uh, I, uh, I, I studied the application. Uh, at, well, I, at the during the time of my PhD study, we know the geometry of algebra, and my uh, doctoral thesis is uh, the world first thesis uh, that introduced, systematically introduced geometry of algebra into GIS research. And uh, after 2011, uh, I do a lot of uh